All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at adjusting an Excel table, making it ready for a poster. So what I have here is my Excel file where uh, I basically have my statistics output here. Um, it's a sample, so everything is nondescript, variable one, variable two. Um, this is just a little summary. We don't, we're not going to pay attention to that right now. If I'm trying to get something ready for my poster, what I'll do is I'll take this stuff that is of interest, I'll copy it, and I'll paste it onto a new sheet. And then I'll just readjust all the sizes. Now what I need to do is for a poster you don't want everything you just want the really important stuff these three uh, rows aren't necessarily too important so what I'll ju just do is I'll delete them and uh, depending on my hypothesis if it's a one tail or two tail then I should delete um, some of that information as well we'll delete out the two-tail hypothesis right now. This is what you're left with. Um, I'm going to get rid of the formatting so that I can reformat it the way that I want to. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that blank formatting and paste it there. So now there's no formatting whatsoever. Uh, personally, I like this, so I'll keep it. I'm going to drop it down though, um, and as a matter of fact, I'll take the whole bit of information and I'm going to resize it. On my particular poster, I have 28 point font um, in the body of the text, so I'm going to make this 28 point font as well. As you can see, it screws up all the sizing, so I need to resize everything. Uh, this guy is overly are absurd, absurdly large, so I will shrink that down, and I'm going to merge these three cells. Okay. Now we need to separate things out so that uh, it's a little more viewer friendly. Um, I'm going to take all this data and I'm going to make it or take that data and I'll adjust it so that it has three decimal points uh -oh. mm, we shouldn't do that you can see how low RP value is here so I can't do that I'm gonna undo all that stuff I didn't pay attention to the p-value, 10 to the minus 14. But what I can do is I can come in and hand round it. I just round it to the nearest hundredths place here, or sorry, thousandths. Uh, so it should be four there. And to round this one, it should be 1.860. I'll keep my variances as they are. And that just reduces the amount of information on the spreadsheet. Um, next thing I'm going to do is a little trick. I will center it vertically. Doesn't look like it does anything right now, but if I have to resize things on my PowerPoint, it'll help make everything resize a lot better. go ahead and center all of this data. Mm. I don't know if I like that a whole lot. It's not very symmetrical, so I think I'll keep it I don't really like any of those. But you have to make a decision. So 
I'm going to keep it centered. Next up, let's get these guys looking a little bit different, set it apart from the data. I'll just bold it. And now I will put some borders on things. Um, when I'm pasting things into PowerPoint, I usually back them with uh, a box. So I'm not going to put side borders on this or a top border. As a matter of fact, I don't want anything up there because the box will make those borders. If you add in borders right there, um, then they won't show up, or actually they do show up, but then it makes everything look not so nice. So I don't put side borders or top or bottom borders on anything. This isn't a bottom border. This would be a bottom border. Um, all right, now that looks pretty good. I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to shift them to the right. I like that a lot better now. Okay, I think it's ready for pasting. So now this is all 28 point font formatted pretty much the way I want it to be formatted. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to copy it, control C, jump to my PowerPoint where my poster is, and I'm just going to straight up paste it. You could go to paste special if you'd like uh, and paste it as an Excel worksheet object. When I do this, I've got my PowerPoint, my Excel spreadsheet in my PowerPoint. This would technically be in the results section, but that's not the purpose of this one right now. We'll reorganize it later. Now, I want to zoom in so I can actually work with this. So I'll zoom, maybe 50% should be close to being good. And that I can see pretty well. These lines, the grid lines, will not show up, only the ones that I added grid lines to. So that looks pretty decent. Now what do I need to do? One thing I always do is I go to the format table. Um, and I'm going to readjust this. I readjust it to something normal, like 4.25, and I'll adjust this to 7.75, just so that life is easier. Um, oops, it is locking the aspect ratio, so I'm going to not let it do that. And the reason why I do that is just so that I can come in and I can add a box to it and force the box to be a quarter of an inch larger on all sides. So, like we said, we've got this table now, 4.25 by 7.75. So now I'm going to add in my border. So I'll insert, a shape, a rectangle. And it's going to be right there. Send it to the back. And, ooh, so that's a bummer. But we can fix that soon. And 4.75 by, uh, it should be 7.75, I believe. I can't remember. Let's check. 7.75. So it needs to be. 4.75 by 8.25. 4.75 by 8.25. And now I just got to center it up on my table. Hmm. Looks pretty good. My table now, one thing that I screwed up, I need to fix some things. This, I need to have a white background. And now everything looks right. 
Okay. I could also adjust this, the, the background, I would adjust it to the same color as everything else has been. Um, I don't know what color that is. So we'll just get a format shape. This blue is just the top blue. I made it easy for myself. So now that I know that, I'll adjust this. Likewise, solid color, I want the top dark blue, uh, and we will have no line around it. Beautiful. Last but not least, if it'll let me group it, I'll group it. Control G groups it, and now it doesn't matter what, oh. No. Be like that. There we go. Zoom back out. And now I can put this guy wherever I want it. It matches. It's wonderful. All done.